Once again, Texas's voter ID law has been thrown out by a federal judge. And once again, they're absolutely wrong. Hey, everybody, it's Chad HD, host of the Chad HD Show, which airs weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time on News Talk 95.1 FM and 7.90 a.m. KFYO. You can follow me online at uh, Chad HD Radio, and you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, and you can watch the show live right here, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. Well, a uh, federal judge uh, on Wednesday threw out the state's uh, Texas's voter ID requirements uh, that the same federal judge uh, previously compared to a poll tax on minorities, dealing another setback to the state Republican leaders over voting rights. That, according to the AP, U.S. District Judge Nelva Gonzalez Ramos rejected a weakened version of the law signed by Republican Governor Craig Abbott earlier this year. The new version did not expand the list of acceptable photo identifications, meaning gun licenses gun licenses remain sufficient proof to vote, but not college student IDs. So I guess if uh, you have enough money to go to college, then you can use a college ID, but um, if you don't have enough money for the free voter ID that's already available, somehow that's wrong? I I don't know. I don't really get that whole thing. Anyway, uh, the changes would allow people who lack the required ID to cast a ballot if they signed an affidavit, brought in paperwork later that showed their name and address, and uh, they could bring in uh, other uh, things such as a bank statement or a utility bill. The new version was supported by the U.S. Department of Justice, and uh, which uh, you know once opposed the law but reversed its position once Trump took office. The Republican uh, Texas Attorney General uh, Ken Paxton called the ruling outrageous, said an appeals court should void the ruling. Quote, the U.S. Department of Justice is satisfied with the amended voter ID law, has no discriminatory purpose or effect. Uh, safeguarding the integrity of elections in Texas is essential to preserving our democracy, Paxton said in a statement. It also just makes sense. You have to have an ID for everything, uh, for everything these days. You have to have an ID when you get on a plane to go somewhere. You have to have an ID if you want to uh, go and buy a six-pack of beer. You have to have an ID in order to get welfare. You have to have an ID if you want to cash a check. You have to have an ID for basically everything these days. If you don't have an ID, and by the way, let me say this, that uh, in the state of Texas, you can get a free voter ID. Not a driver's license, but a free voter ID. All you have to do is get off your ass and go and get a free voter ID. Is it discriminatory? Absolutely not. In 2017, you have to have an ID for basically everything. If you have to have an ID in order to get welfare, if you have, an, have, to, if you have to have an ID in order to cash a check, if you have to have an ID uh, in order to board a plane, why are those things not racist, but all of a sudden having an ID to go and vote is suddenly harmful to people? Seems a little bit silly to me. Voter ID makes sense, and it hasn't hurt anyone. Tune in to the Chad HD Show weekday mornings, 8.30 to 11 a.m. Central Time. News Talk, 95.1 FM, 7.90 a.m. KFYO. Have a great day. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Chad HD Radio.